Welcome back to another Space Gas Reinforced Concrete Design Overview video. In this video, we will look at a concrete column design using the same building model from the Part 1 video and quickly go through the Reinforced Concrete Management tool. Let us select a column and then open the Concrete Column module. You can adjust things by changing any of the settings in the side panel and see how they affect the design. Or you can switch to check mode by specifying the reinforcement yourself rather than having it determined for you. The column and its cross section are shown in the panels at the top, complete with a full reinforcement specification. Interaction diagrams show the column's axial load versus moment envelope. They also include the load case points so that you can compare the design actions with the column's capacity at a glance. Loads that fall within the red curve pass and those that fall outside fail. You can hover over any part of the diagram to see its underlying values. The pass-fail status is also reflected in the status line at the bottom. Both the concrete column and beam design modules let you generate fully detailed drawings of the longitudinal sections and cross sections in DXF or DWG formats that you can then import into your CAD system. You can also generate concise or more detailed reports. Now let's open the concrete management tool. The table at the bottom shows the beam and column we just created, together with some others that were created previously. You can click or scroll through them to see their details, or double-click one to open it in the design editor and make further changes as required. The coloured blocks on the left indicate whether members have passed or failed, or have no results, and the blocks in the next column containing Ds or Cs indicate whether members have been designed or checked. One of the most useful things about the management tool is that you can redesign or recheck all your beams and columns in batch mode rather than having to open and process each one separately. This is very handy if you've made changes to the model or have reanalyzed it. Preferences let you control your designs more effectively and specify default settings for new beams and columns. Finally, various types of summary or detailed reports can be viewed or printed from the management tool. A more in-depth look at the reinforced concrete beam and column design is covered in the reinforced concrete training videos.